Hey, what's going on with it once again, ladies and gentlemen? And with some big hands as always. Talking to you, ladies. Ram Pop Culture News for Gary Gay. Man and Marine guys are wrestling for Oscar George's channel. It's always follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And as always, um, Odyssey and Minds, V Shoot Bright Down, just in case this channel gets shut down, terminated, Shadow Man, what have you, God forbid. Anyways, as far as this thing got a little bit more tighter in the shirt since the last time I saw it four months ago, but. Oof, I don't know if it's because it shrunk or I'm just gaining more weight. Hopefully it's not the second one, but it might be, unfortunately. As far as I go, if I knew it was going to be a little tight, I'd stretch it out a little bit. But anyways, aside from that, <laughs> and two other mini stories to talk about again. One happened about two days ago. The other one happened like I think a week ago, more or less. So there's that. Tekken 8, Lily, and I was like three or four days old. I still wanted to talk about it anyways, so... Let me actually see what day it came out, so that way, April 23rd, this was a while ago, but I only heard about it three days ago, I gotta get credit card to do my boys, Word of the Movie God, and Tyra Magnus, they did reaction review segments, I haven't watched this trailer at all, period, so I only heard about it three days ago, I didn't know it was over a week old, <laughs> or almost four days old, I think, because it was the 23rd of April, it was 26th, by the time you guys are watching this, it was the 25th or 26th, I don't even know, oh yeah, 26th. Alright, three, two, one, let's go. Let's jump into it without wasting any of your guys' time. I really want to be super hyper excited about Lily, man. She's like my fourth or fifth favorite female fighter character in the Tekken series. So, let's jump into it. Let's freaking do it, baby. Let's go. Big gun. She's got to be as good. I think she speaks French like she did in the other Tekken 5 and Tekken 6 games. That's the only thing I know. Yeah. Get ready for the <laughs> next seem to amaze me they honestly don't i swear we're not getting paid or sponsorship by bandai namco say anything positive about them all the time but they give me good vibes man when i see these trailers and i'm probably not gonna be in three or four years by the time another tekken games come out after tekken up that's a quick thoughts over thoughts using opinions on this trailer and i was like half a week old already <laughs> mm. I get the same voice actors before i'm just gonna give you like three small little fun facts and trivies i'll leave the link to the about down below because I'm not super mega familiar with all the lore, like I am a Street Fighter, or freaking what else, um, the Street Fighter series and the Pokemon series and all that stuff, but I remember, a um, fun fact for one of the three, I never got to play Pokemon Tournament, and the one that was on Pokemon Tournament Deluxe for the Nintendo Switch and Switch OLED and all that, but one of the moves that Gardevoir uses on Pokemon Tournament and Pokemon Tournament Deluxe is based off of one of Lily, Lily's freaking, um, final attacks. I didn't know that was a thing. I wish I did. <laughs> And again, Bandai Namco is the one that helped them make the Pokemon Pokemon Tournament fighter game when they were creating that <laughs> title. And then the two other real quick facts and trivia. I didn't even know she was in a Digimon like 
smartphone handheld game too. I had no idea she was uh, what's it called cameo appearance character Lily. This character here in the Tekken series isn't was in the Digimon universe too. I had no idea until two days ago when I first found out about this freaking um, trailer. And third fun fact, because I heard it on the Tekken Wikia fandom page, so I'll leave the link down below if I remember to do that. Um, <laughs> for some reason, the directors and producers and like the people that were the developers for the original PS2, PS3, like Tekken games, and the original old school PS1 games, I think it was supposed to be a beta version of Lily, but she didn't come out to like Tekken 5, Tag Tournament, I think. And uh, for some reason, I don't know what it is, but <laughs> they said the developers had a really hard time like making her hair move back and forth whenever she does her punches and her kicks and her flips and all that. For some reason, they had a very big problem, very huge difficulty creating how her hair waves and flows into the air whenever she's doing her attacks. I don't know why. And because how they had for years, from way back in the PS1, PS2 era, even on the old school other eras, like N64, GameCube, when the Xbox and Dreamcast were still around. It's like how they were trying to create the shape of water in video games was really, really difficult in the mid-late 90s at that time because the technology wasn't there yet. The realistic AR, VR, futuristic technology and the Unreal Engine shit wasn't there to make water super realistic looking. So nowadays, it's a lot more easier to, to develop. But that's enough of the lecture shit, so. Chef's just freaking hyper as fuck about this freaking game. Can't wait to see this thing. Hopefully it comes out to the Switch and Switch OLED, even though it's probably going to be for the PS5 and Xbox Series X and S first, a PC. And then probably a year later, 2024, I'll probably be on the Switch. <laughs> I'll probably have to wait till all the way till next year to freaking buy the game. But anyways, that's enough of that. We'll get to the other small, tiny little tidbits of news here. Uh, that's something I was watching in my own time. This one was like three days ago. I still want to talk about it. This is, this is strictly straight up Japanese culture at its finest, and I love it. <clears throat> I'm so, so freaking obsessed and absorbed in the culture with Japanese people and their freaking way that they see Hollow Live VTubers. It's hilarious sometimes, too. It's kind of sad, but still funny, too. This Hollow Live VTuber Yukihana Lamy gets a second Sasuke bottle promotion <laughs> out of all the other merchandise that could have made merch. They could have made freaking hats, clothes, like the pillows. You're well, well known, especially if you're a weeaboo freaking otaku motherfucker. You know, you gotta get your waifu pillow shit. I'm surprised they didn't make that version of her instead, or even like stuff like food and snacks. And they did like a Family Mart 7 Eleven collaboration with her or something like that, but they picked a freaking sake alcohol bottle. <laughs> and this shit is real, it's not even fake. I've never heard of this VTuber until the other day, so. I thought it was interesting. I mean, I'll never probably see that in the United States, but maybe one day we will, but I highly doubt it. But if I'm a 56 year old man, I'll probably see it. And then uh, some other big news that came out four days ago, more or less three or four days early. I don't remember exactly one, but I hey, credit credit is I think Dreamcast guy, the other dude, RTTA5, talked about this. Horizon Zero Dawn 3 is 100% coming to the PS5 and only for the PlayStation 5. It's not even coming off PS4 at all. It's 100 million percent strictly going on the PlayStation 5 console. And probably the PlayStation Pro, whenever that ends up getting released. So, other little um, big time news there. And then I finally found a freaking article for the Gran Turismo 5. It says, um, CinemaCon 2023, Sony pr Pictures Presentation Live. First look at Gran Turismo live action movie is officially coming to theaters. Well, I don't know when, but the only thing I know is that that dude Orlando Bloom. I haven't seen him since like the Pirates of the Caribbean movie, the last one thing was like 2010, 2011. Years ago, I think it was like 12, 11 and a half, 12 and a half, 13 years. The last time I saw that dude, I'm in any movie. One, two things I've known from the franchise he's been in for movies is the Lord of the Rings series, the original one from the early 2000s. And then the other one, I think a little bit in The Hobbit. And then I remember him for Pirates of the Caribbean, being one of Johnny Depp's like best friends or something, or his rival. I'm not sure. So this is pretty sick. I I still don't know the premises of what the movie's going to be about, but it's weird as heck, so I'll leave the link to the trailer down below if I remember to do so. And yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I still don't know how this is a thing, but it's so fucking funny. <laughs> I'll read a little bit of it. Previous Yakuhana Lami Sake bottle produced between Mirai, hopefully I'm saying it right, Mirai or Mirai, breweries called Yuki Zono, and it's released in 2021, two years ago. It was designed by 
the Dangjio or Dai Daijinjo bottle, and it won a bronze medal in a prestigious international wine competition. What? It won a wine competition? Wow. Hey, some of the Japanese people, when it comes to their sake, you can't fuck around with their sake stuff. They take that shit very seriously. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not an alcoholic wine drinker, though, so I wouldn't know this. Nice quality design. <laughs> Anyways, that's all I guess. I'm out of here. Links to the by Zon below, Cartoon Side, and links to the Tekken Wiki fandom that I heard about. A lot of this information about this girl, Lily Roush. Super clean. And that's it. Peace out once again, ladies and gentlemen, Bozeman. Damn, boys and famous, as always. Takazin Moise. Look at that bottle. Super expensive looking, man. <laughs> I'll see you when I see you guys today. Have a good night, wherever you're at. In the world of the universe out there, Shazam, Shikan, just change with Baker Ministry News, Anime Manga News, Torture Issue Drama News, Yellow Must News, um, Celebrity Gossip News, on the, on the, on the, on the reaction videos like this. Peace out, my soccer. Let's like, goodbye. See you on the flip side. Take it easy. I'm on the mount. And uh, don't take any of the jab or any of the like, scary, evil hydrogel, microbots shit, or any of the evil poison that they try to put in your body. Please don't take any of it all. I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Goodbye. And, uh, Stay extra safe out there. I'm gone. Goodbye. And um, see you guys in the future video content format whenever I do it. Goodbye.